Ladies and gentlemen, madames and messieurs, brigands and... The best and only fish, Planet Threepwood. This place must be good. Planet Threepwood has won the Golden Fish Award in Jambalaya Town. Nice. Great chefs of the Tri-Island area. Stainless Steel Chef, Copper Chef, Tin Chef. I never heard of any of these guys. On today's menu is Swordmaster's Delight, Guybrush's Mighty Pirate Burger, Lobster LeChuck, and Elaine's Caesar Salad. Big mighty pirates like myself can't live on salads. Today's special drinks are Largo's Lemonade and Fat Fizz. Eh, at least this place has a bar. There's nobody here. Bet there's someone here when a customer tries to leave, though. Oh my. Elaine's gonna have a fit if she sees this. They made her look fat. <laughs> uh, pardon me. Ah, uh, yeah. You're a little goofy looking for a pirate, aren't you? Oh, 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 gosh. Me a pirate, don't I wish now? Pirates are the coolest. I'm a vacationing pet shop clerk, don't you know? Aren't you afraid of encountering real pirates? Oh, 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 nah. Everyone knows that Ozymandrill swept the island clean of those, you know, those real scary pirates. Well, thanks to him, I can indulge my passion for pirate memorabilia, if you must know. You know, without the hassle of dealing with actual pirates. <laughs> what would you say if I told you you were looking at a real pirate right now? Oh, get out of here right now. Real pirates have scars and parrots and peg legs, you know, stuff like that there. You look more like one of those squeaky clean pirate performers that Mandrill's hired to entertain the tourists. But I am a real pirate. I'm Guybrush Threepwood. Oh, don't be stupid now. The real Guybrush Threepwood is over seven feet tall, wears a hat dripping with the blood of his enemies, and he has the ghost of his favorite parrot perched on his shoulder there. Right there, yeah. Wow, I'm scarier than I thought. <laughs> but I am a real pirate. I'm Guybrush Threepwood. Oh, don't be stupid now. The real Guybrush Threepwood is over seven feet tall, wears a hat dripping with the blood of his enemies, and he has the ghost of his favorite parrot perched on his shoulder there. Right there, yeah. Wow. I'm scarier than I thought. <laughs> I skipped that. I'm looking for the pieces of the ultimate insult. Is that one of Planet Threepwood's toy giveaways? No, it's a volatile voodoo talisman of indescribably psyche destroying power. I'm trying to stop an undead evil pirate from assembling it. Oh, cripes. A quest? This is just like my pirate role playing games at home. What does this ultimate insult look like? One of the pieces looks like a golden man. Ah. That sounds like my yellow Avenger action figure back home in Oshkosh. <laughs> I don't think that's it. One of the pieces looks like a bronze pirate hat. Hmm. <laughs> nope, I, uh, I guess I don't have the experience points to come up with a clue. One of the pieces looks like a silver monkey head. A silver monkey head, eh? Oh, that sounds like the silver monkey mug they use for special occasions here at Planet Threepwood. I've had just about enough talking about the ultimate insult for now. Well, fine. I'll just be on my way. Bye bye now. Excuse me. Hi, I'm Elaine, and I'll be your waitress this afternoon. Would you like to hear about today's special? I'd love to hear about today's special. We call it Stan's Budget Bologna Sub. It's four pieces of bologna, ham, and turkey smothered in three types of cheese on rye bread. Ew. <laughs> That's funny. We've been getting that reaction all day. What kind of place is this, anyway? This is Planet Threepwood, one of a chain of restaurants dedicated to showcasing the exploits of the Tri-Island area's most famous pirate, Guybrush Threepwood. Ah, that explains why it looks like my life has been vomited all over the walls. Excuse me? I'm Guybrush Threepwood, and I'm not too thrilled about this place. <laughs> That's a good one, sir. What? Everyone knows that Guybrush Threepwood is about six foot four, has a scar about yay long over his left eye, and a big black parrot. No, really, I can prove it. Ask me something only Guybrush Threepwood would know. Okay. What are your parents' names? <laughs> John and Martha? Ha! Everyone knows their names were Fred and Ginger. I didn't. Then maybe you aren't really Guybrush Threepwood. I guess not. So, who are you supposed to be? I'm Elaine Marley, the pirate princess of Melee Island. Hey, baby. You can be my Elaine anytime. What? Uh, nothing. 
Whose brilliant idea was this, anyway? Planet Threefoot is a wholly owned subsidiary of Ozymandrill Enterprises. I should have guessed. I'm looking for the ultimate insult. I've never heard of that. Is it on the menu? I don't think so. If it's not on the menu, then we don't make it. Come to think of it, I need a few more minutes. Let me know when you're ready to order. Excuse me. Hi, I'm Elaine, and I'll be your waitress this afternoon. I think I'm ready to order. What'll it be? Guybrush's Mighty Pirate Burger sounds good. I thought it might. And to drink? I'll have a fat fizz. A popular choice, sir. And how will you be paying? I was thinking of running a tab. We don't run tabs at Planet Threepwood. There are still too many deadbeat pirates hanging around to start handing out lines of credit. You know the type. Um, yeah. <sighs> Let me know when you've got some way to pay for a meal. Dope. I wonder if Murray knows that they have his arm on display in here. LucasArts seems to have their grubby hands into everything around here. I guess they couldn't find anything else interesting when they were stealing stuff out of my closet. Excuse me. Yes, would you like a free pirate caricature? Free pirate caricature? Yes, to help promote the zany swashbuckling atmosphere of Planet Treepwood. Ozzy Mandrill Enterprises has hired me, Christopher Kilometer, to render free pirate themed caricatures of our guests. Would you like one? Sure, why not? Wonderful. Just a moment. <laughs> you know what I like about pirates? They're so active and healthy, you know, all that sword fighting and sailing, really outdoorsy stuff. What's your favorite pirate activity? <clears throat> mm. I'm partial to the clang of a good sword fight. Although sometimes when the swords don't hit together cleanly, it makes this awful screech sound. You know what else I like about pirates? They're wacky madcap accessories. Pegs, patches, parrots, hooks. They're just so darned whimsical. What's your favorite pirate accessory? Nothing makes a bold-fashioned statement like a pirate with a parrot on his shoulder. And most would agree that that statement is I'm a creepy jerk who tortures small animals for my personal amusement. You know what I can't figure out about pirates? I shudder to think. What are they do in their spare time? They can't spend their entire lives fighting, sailing, and winching, can they? I guess not. Of course not. So, what do you think pirates do in their off hours? I think that most of them just like to curl up by the fire with a good book. Of course, they usually just throw the book in the fire, but still. Book. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. Done. Here you are, sir. Thank you for your patronage, and enjoy your visit to the happiest island on Earth. Thanks. He made me look all goofy and cartoony. With a sword and a parrot on my shoulder, reading a book down by the fire. Hmm. Wonder. I don't think she'd like that. I don't think he'd like that. Looks like they managed to get their hands on some of Elaine's stuff. Glove, music box, plastic ice cream cone. Uh, Elaine's gonna have an aneurysm when she finds out about this. Uh, what I can do in here? Where do the real pirates go when they're looking for buccaneer-style family dining at a reasonable price? What's that? Whoa, nice dive. 
Thank you, my friend. I fear that my skills have atrophied as of late, though. I'm not half the diver I used to be. That was one of the best plank dives I've ever seen. And who are you that would take such pains to flatter an aging plank diver? My name is Guyber Streepwood. I'm a mighty pirate. Ah, a pirate. It's rare to encounter a genuine pirate on Jambalaya Island these days. So I noticed. Well, Mr. Muddy Pirate, my name is Marco De Pollo, and I am the greatest prank diver in the world. Are you really the greatest diver in the world? Yes. I have spent years searching the planet for someone who could better me in the art of the prank dive, but to no avail. How sad. What are you doing on Jambalaya Island? Ah, that is an interesting story. Is it a short story? About a year ago, I despaired of ever finding my diving equal and was prepared to hang up my trunks forever. Ew. At this crucial moment, Senior Ozzy Mandrill approached me with an intriguing proposition. A am I old enough to hear this? He told me <laughs> that he was building the tallest artificial plank diving platform in the world and that he was willing to pay obscene amounts of money to have the world's greatest prank diver compete on it on a daily basis. Since I was ready to retire in any event, I figured, why not retire in the comfort of a luxury resort island? Makes sense to me. Besides, there's always the chance that someone will come along who can finally challenge my skills. Has your arrangement with Ozymandro proven challenging? Sadly, no. But at least I'm receiving a steady stream of income. I'm looking for the pieces of the ultimate insult. What would I know of such things? One of the pieces is a bronze hat. I never wear hats. They might screw up the shape of my naturally streamlined head. One of the pieces is a silver monkey head. I'm sorry, but that doesn't ring a bell. One of the pieces is a golden man of some sort. Hmm. How peculiar. This solid gold all-world diving trophy looks like a golden man of some sort. It's over by the judge's table. Perhaps you're not the best person to ask about the ultimate insult. Perhaps not. How did you get into plank diving anyway? Ah, that is a story rife with melancholy. Ajutur, you wish to hear it. <laughs> Are you kidding? I love stories rife with melancholy. Very well. It begins with my father, Count Francisco Alvarez de Pollo. He was a man of peculiar moods and eccentricities. In one of his so-called lighter moments, he named his only son Marco, much to the consternation of his wife and extended family. Why the fuss? I take it you have never been in a public swimming pool. Pirates don't have much use for him. Ah, then allow me to elaborate. At the tender age of six, I was sent to my first swimming lesson. Oh, how I happily splashed about, taking to the water like a worm to dirt. Suddenly, someone shouted my name. Marco! I turned to see who it was. Before I could find who had called my name, Everyone in the pool shouted in response, Poyo! I couldn't understand what was happening. Why were they shouting my name in such an annoying scene, song, manner? Why were they closing their eyes to my obvious torment? I, I tried to get them to stop, but they just kept chanting my name over and over again. Marco! Poyo! Unable to tolerate it any further, I climbed to the highest diving board in the pool and cannonballed into the center of the taunting masses as I hit the water with a resounding splash. The haunting chants of my classmates finally gave way to comforting screams of terror. What a horrible story. Yes, but at least I gained a lucrative career out of my childhood trauma. So is this diving competition open to anyone? Hardly. If I were to compete against everyone who want to get their hands on a solid gold old world diving trophy, I'd be diving 24 hours a day. Oh, so who do you dive against? The judges panel over there does an excellent job of weeding out the poseurs from the serious divers. I'd like to dive against you. You want to dive against me? <laughs> Ah, thank you, little friend, for bringing laughter <laughs> back into my life. What's so funny? Don't tell me you're serious. As serious as scurvy, diver boy. It's not wise to trifle with me, Mr. Thripwood. I am the greatest diver in the world. Second greatest, you mean. Very well. The gauntlet has been thrown. 
I suppose you have been certified by the judging committee? Certified? Do you think I am some sort of clown who accepts the challenges of every two-shilling braggart that comes my way? Um, yes? If you want to die, go to the judges' committee and get certified. I just remembered a previous engagement. Bye. Damn, I guess certified to dive.